In today's video, I'm here to introduce you to one of the best everyday laptops. Day-to-day -day use and office-related work on this will be a breeze. Let's see what we got here. What's good you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deep and I'm a DJ and a tech enthusiast. I make videos about DJing and tech and so if this interests you, please consider subscribing. So, a good computing device is the backbone of how productive you can get while working. So for that, it's essential that you have a computer that is fast, responsive and that runs smooth. One such laptop is this one here and this is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i. Let's quickly unbox this and let me show you what Lenovo has to offer with this one. The laptop comes in a not so exciting looking box with the Lenovo branding on the top. And a sticker at the back tells you when it was manufactured, what is in the box and the model number. Mine was manufactured in March and delivered to me by April. That's nice. Cutting through this Lenovo sticker here opens the box and inside you're presented with two compartments. One that holds the laptop and the other that holds the charging brick. Removing the charging brick and wow, this is the first exciting thing in the box. This is a compact 65 watt adapter that looks like the one you get with a MacBook, but only this one's black. For comparison, let me put this next to a conventional adapter that you normally get with other laptops. Removing the laptop from the box and out come two pieces of documentation along with it. A quick start guide and a warranty booklet. Keeping those aside, let's remove the laptop from its protective cover. And there you have it. That is your package. Beautiful. Let's talk about the laptop now. The laptop comes in a beautiful platinum grey color and that has a brushed aluminum look to it. The top looks clean with a simple Lenovo logo at the corner and as a minimalist myself, I absolutely appreciate Lenovo's minimal design choice here. The laptop is light, weighing only around 1.6 kilos and the slim design complements the overall look and feel. When it comes to I.O., on the left, we have the charging port along with the charging indicator, followed by a full-size HDMI port and three USB ports, one out of which is USB 2.0 and the other two are USB 3.0. Right next to that is this tiny power indicator. On the right, we have a 4-in-1 card reader, followed by a reset button and a headphone and mic combo jack. I'm happy with Lenovo's choice of ports on this laptop. However, I wish there was one USB-C port at least on this laptop. I mean, come on, it's 2021. On the underside, we have a vent that helps in keeping the laptop cool while running. And we can see that the body is closed shut, meaning that the battery is non-removable. The laptop, also has two bottom firing speakers here that support Dolby Audio. Although not the best, but they get the job done. Opening the lid reveals a clean keyboard layout with grey coloured keys. And since this is a 14 inch laptop, this doesn't have a number pad. The keyboard has a good key travel and my experience with typing on this has been satisfactory. The touchpad at the bottom is basic and it's slightly off-centered, making it very comfortable to use. The laptop also has a webcam, which is not the best, but it has a physical shutter. You can simply flick the switch here and that closes the webcam shut, making this a highly secure feature. Talking about the guts now, the laptop comes with a 10th generation Intel Core i3 processor with integrated UHD graphics. It has 8GB of DDR4 RAM and an M.2 256GB SSD. And for you tech geeks out there, it's interesting to know that both the RAM and the SSDs are upgradable in this one. The laptop comes with 4GB of RAM which is soldered to the motherboard and an additional 4GB of RAM installed in the SODIMM slot, meaning it can be upgraded to an 8GB RAM, making it compatible with up to 12GB of RAM if you wish to upgrade this yourself. Apart from this, the laptop also has support for two hard drives, one M.2 slot and one 2.5 inch slot, meaning you can put up to two hard drives with support for up to one TB SSD each. And that makes this laptop highly upgradable. Pressing the power button here and nothing happens. My laptop had no charge, so I had to connect the power cable and surely enough, it powered on. And that is confirmed by this clean full HD anti-glare display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels that has 220 nits of brightness and decent viewing angles. It has thin bezels on the side with a not so thin bezel at the bottom, but that lifts the display to a better reading height. 
Interestingly, the lid of the laptop can also be opened up to an almost 180 degree angle. The laptop comes pre-installed with a 64-bit Windows 10 operating system bundled with a Microsoft Office Home and Student Edition. And that makes this laptop amazing for anybody who's looking to buy a computer and get going right out of the box. Setting it up and using it for a while confirms that the i3 processor with a combination of 8GB RAM and an SSD is making this laptop run fast and smooth. I tried using this laptop with 50 Chrome tabs open all at once and Office running at the background and still this laptop did not stutter even once. The battery life also looks promising. The company claims a 7-hour battery backup. Depending on how you use it, I was getting close to 5 hours with my usage. The laptop costs 36,000 rupees here in India. And in that price, we get a slim 14-inch laptop that runs smooth and it is highly upgradable. I think this laptop by Lenovo is a win overall. There is another model that comes around 44,000 rupees which has an i5 processor. So if you're looking to do a lot more multitasking with heavier applications, you can opt for that. But if you're a regular user wanting to buy a laptop for everyday use and for office related work, I'm sure this laptop is more than enough for you. And that is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i. If you're interested to buy this product, I'll leave the links to this down in the description box along with a few more options. If you're interested to buy it, click on those links and you will be able to buy this for yourself. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And while you're at it, it will be nice if you can click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. That's been it. My name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.